Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. This is yet another quick little interview with an Inspire Photo Retreat speaker. And today I'm speaking with Carla Ten Eyck, who uh, just how happens to be one of the co-founders of Inspire. And uh, Carla is coming back this year to speak at Inspire. And I'm going to find out a little bit more about what her presentation is all about. But Carla is a wedding photographer based right here in Hartford, Connecticut, where I live. Um, I've been to her house. Uh, she hosts uh, parties. She has people coming over for uh, these events called pug uh, uh, meetings, right? And you've got you've got lots of things going on at your studio. Uh, it's a beautiful space. I've always enjoyed, it. and it was always there's a warm hospitality that uh, that that envelops you when you walk in, and you always uh, someone's always asking you, "Hey, do you want a beer?" <laughs> you know, it's, it's always it's it's always a fun time. Uh, Carla uh, is also. Uh, you know, massively involved with uh, uh, Engage, which is a uh, an event that that um, is all over the globe, actually, where uh, I guess uh, wedding vendors get together and talk about uh, all of these new things that they're coming out with or discussing how to make make things better for their clients. You know, it's a wonderful opportunity. And Carla is, I, I think, in a, at her heart, is a teacher. So, and... Um, I've been to one of her, her Tenai Tuesdays workshops uh, uh, some time ago, and I had a blast. Uh, Carla, thanks for joining us. I know that was a long, long introduction, <laughs> but man, you you get you you deserve it because you do, you do so many things here for photographers, um, and I wanted to thank you for it for as well. So thank you, thanks, Seishu. Uh Let's start off by asking you this very simple question. I know you, uh, uh, Mark Higgins, and a Grazier. Eric Foley, uh, Krista, uh, Krista Gennon, were all involved in putting Inspire together, right? Yeah, and Paul McNerney also. Uh, Paul yep. McNerney, yes, I forgot. Yeah. Forget, uh, apologies. Apologies <laughs> no, no, to we're... Paul. Um, <laughs> uh, what was it that really said to you all, let's do this, let's have this here, out here in, well, first it was in Massachusetts, then it moved to Maine, but Regardless, it, 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 you know, this sort of this small, intimate conference in New England. Actually, it was Anna Grazier and Matt Grazier that had this idea. It was their brainchild. And they just had this um, this this dream to do this. And so they sprung into action and called together a team of people that I wasn't a part of on the first one. Um, I tagged in um as a teacher, I kind of put it out there and said, you know, if you need any instructors or speakers, I'm more than willing to do it. Um, and I ended up tagging in on two things because somebody had an emergency and had to had to uh, leave. So I, I tagged in and taught for the first one and didn't plan it. And I just knew it was something I wanted to be a part of. And it just evolved into this group where it was kind of this uh, informal group doing this really big um retreat and then it became a formal LLC where we became business partners um, and it and it settled down into um, you know Anna and Mark and Eric and Krista and Paul and myself um, and now it's you know the group is growing and changing and kind of um, you know living and breathing and, and, and just turning into this new thing now um, but it was it was Anna and Matt that that started the whole thing and then now it's just taken on everybody's um, dreams and hopes for the photo you know the photo community. Indeed. Yeah. What, what, why, what has, what has, I'm trying to get to the bottom of like, why was it so important to create something like this here in, in our, in our neck of the woods, you know, because I mean, you've got WPPI and you've got yeah. uh, Imaging USA, these behemoths of, of conferences that people go to. And, yeah. you know, you've got vendors who are all vying for those, uh, for everybody's attention. And, and so funding is not a big issue for those, those bigger entities inspire has to do things a lot smartly i think right you gotta you gotta be like really really sharp about who you <laughs> invite what vendors you invite and you you cap it off at 250 people i believe right mm -hmm. um which is again i mean uh, some people looking from the outside going why would you cap anything you, you want more people to come there not less What's your, what's your response to that? I, I 
just even how you phrase that, saying you've got these behemoths of WPPI and imaging, that's exactly what, who wants to go and be a small fish in a giant pond? You want to go and, and walk in and, and you want to walk, you know, walk into this conference and be greeted with a big hug. You've got me standing there looking to make eye contact with you, looking to hug you and welcome you, you know, looking to ask you how your journey was to get there. You've got Eric doing that. You've got Paul, you've got Anna, you've got Mark, um, Krista, and, and people that are just that haven't missed an Inspire will go and say, oh my gosh, this is your first Inspire. Welcome. You know, you're, you're going to leave a different person. Right. Um, and I've been to WPPI and it's not ever been like that for me. While, while it's been a lot of fun, I've gone with a group of people. Mm-hmm. It sure is fun, but it's a very different experience. And I think that um, we're just looking to kind of keep keep stuff, you know, there's a big local grown, you know, local movement that's big everywhere, you right. know, and it's, I think it's about celebrating local talent, supporting your, um, your peers and your colleagues, and, you know, not losing sight of where you come from. And, and it's become more far reaching than just New England. We've got speakers from all over the country, and attendees from all over the country now. But the root of it is this local, um, this local based pool of talent and community that we're just looking to nurture. And I think that's a really important thing to, to kind of continue, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's interesting to hear you say that the speakers are all from all over the country, essentially, yeah. right? I mean, mm-hmm. I, I know there's a guy coming from Australia, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, and the, and the process of, uh, you know, photographers or instructors, you know, p- putting their proposals together and submitting them and, and, and you guys, I guess, sit down and look at each one of them and mm. decide, you know, let's have this person coming uh, yeah. come in and talk about this. Let's yeah. have her, her. I mean, I just talked to Jessica Del Vecchio, who's going to mm. be teaching uh, people how to make salt prints. I haven't made any kind of a print <laughs> <laughs> in, in years and you know, it's it's also that the conference is is less about just coming and sitting in one spot and listening to somebody talk about stuff mm-hmm. and more about doing things together you know absolutely which i think is really special um so let's let's move the conversation to your presentation you've presented before at inspire mm-hmm. what what is it that you're going to be bringing to us this year what is it that you're going to be t- teaching us this year it's actually the epitome of everything we just talked about where it's, I'm not going to just sit there and talk at you. It's a very interactive class. Um, and it's, and it's all about, um, loosely how to, how to stand out in a saturated market, which I feel oh, wow. we all struggle with. Um, and, and the root of that is the fortune is in the follow up really and truly. If you just, you got to follow up on things and it's following up, listening to what your heart is telling you about your business, following up with, you know, your networking that you're doing, following up with clients, following up with vendors and colleagues and stuff like that. Um, And so I'm basically going to just show everybody things that are true to me and how I tied my business into it. Um, And then we're going to actually workshop the entire class and everyone, I'm asking everybody, everybody to come and be very open about things with that, their business and things with themselves. And I'm going to come up with ideas for them to find that great idea within those 10 ideas that they, they think are exciting. I'm going to say, this is this is you. This is what makes Seishu Seishu. And this is how you are going to stand out. Because when it's all said and done, we're, you know, at a certain level, everybody's a really great photographer, right? Everyone can hire a copywriter to write a great about me blurb. Everybody can have somebody curate the best images for their site, right? But what do you what do you leave with when you come to somebody's site or you see their social media presence? And that's largely how people are chosen now. What feeling do you leave people with? Do you want people to feel, you know, warm and fuzzy? Do you want them to feel touched? Do you want them to feel like emotionally connected to you? Do you want them to laugh? Um, do you want them to get this sense of family and you know, community, like, what is that feeling? And so I really want to dig into that because it's different with everybody. And even if it's the same, even if all those things I just said resonated with you, um, it's going to be different for you because you're different than me, right? And it's finding those things that are just so special. Um, so that's basically what my class is. <laughs> well, in a nutshell, uh, <laughs> uh, Carl, that sounds really exciting because uh, you're right. In, in, an exci- in a world where you are... Uh, one among many, many, many photographers, yeah. what is it that you can do, you can do to, mm-hmm. to stand out? I mean, that's an amazing thing is that it's the, the final, the buck stops with you, I think. You know? It does. You, know, yeah. you can't, you, as you said, you can farm out a lot of the, the, the things that, that you don't want to do. But at the, at the end of the day, 
when you're you know you have to deal with the clients uh, one on one. I mean that yeah. and that your personality, your your charisma, whatever you want to call it, you know, and your process, your methods of working with them have to be tailored to you to you and you, you know how you do things. You know, so yeah. this is amazing, amazing stuff, um, it, guys. If you are coming to inspire, this is what you're gonna get, uh, and I hope you do sit <laughs> in on 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 Carla's. A presentation and she's an amazing speaker um oh. I, I know last year i was crying at the end of it uh mm -hmm. because it was it was a very uh it was a very uh emotional time for all of us uh and i and this year it's going to be in portland the, it's going to be at the westin we're going to have fun uh lots of lots of, i mean we have this Pecha Kucha thing is amazing too. I haven't oh, yeah. mentioned it before, but my yeah. God, this Anna and, and her and the whole group are just expanding it into so yeah. many different cool ways. Yeah. Um, uh, there's restaurants, uh, 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 just so many restaurants to go to. <laughs> I mean, I, I you know I'm I'm leading a little small group to go to a restaurant to have dinner. Uh, yeah. I hope uh, people will join me. It's going to be amazing. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, oh, the welcome. energy level is just <laughs> went through the roof for me right now because I just spoke to you. So. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Oh, you're so uh, welcome. I'll see you in a few days. Sounds good. I can't wait. All right. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.